It's been more than five years since Lucid strapped me into something which was very clearly an early prototype and promptly launched me at the horizon to demonstrate just how fast the 1000 plus horsepower air luxury sedan could be. Lucid gets some instant kudos then, because it's already managed to ship cars. The Lucid Air Dream Edition was around $170,000 of pure EV, and effectively the halo car for the company, Lucid staking its flag in the ground, triumphantly declaring its arrival. This Air Grand Touring is that main meal, no longer limited in production numbers and no longer specially massaged. This is Lucid's promise of real luxury and real speed and really, really long range. The boasts we've heard before, not least from Tesla and its Model S. Indeed, a fair few of the Lucid team spent time at Tesla at some point in their career, along with plenty of other automakers. One thing they've all figured out is that speed sells. The Grand Touring has 819 horsepower and all-wheel drive as standard. It'll do 0 to 60 in just three seconds. The Air Grand Touring Performance is a relatively late addition to the Lucid lineup, meanwhile. It's 1,050 horsepower form getting the green light after demand for the original Dream Edition far outstrips supply, and it cuts the 0 to 60 time to just 2.6 seconds. Lucid's pitch, though, has always been more than just power. Range is key, too. On 19-inch wheels, the Grand Touring is expected to do 516 miles on the EPA's testing. Even on its standard 21-inch wheels, the performance version is predicted to do 446 miles. Now, Lucid and Tesla may have been sparring recently over just who can go the furthest on a full charge, but the reality is that they're on another level in comparison to the rest of the luxury EV set. We're talking similarly priced cars to this Grand Touring, but which can do maybe half of the range. When it comes to recharging, Lucid's whimsically named Wunderbox onboard charging unit delivers up to 300 miles of range after 20 minutes plugged into a 300 kW DC fast charger. There's no Lucid equivalent of Tesla's supercharger network, but early air buyers do get free access to Electrify America's network in the US. What stands out once you've got past the giggle value of going very fast in a straight line a few times is just how cohesive the air feels. Back when Lucid first showed me that early prototype, you could still make electric car headlines just by quoting an outrageous 0 to 60 time. Lucid Motors can play that game, the Air Grand Touring proves it. On the outside, it's a little longer than a Mercedes E-Class or a BMW 5 Series. Inside, though, it has space akin to cars in the segment above, like the industry benchmark S-Class. Actually, it's the cabin which surprises me the most. It's more inviting than Tesla's stark and creaky minimalism, and less ostentatious than the screen-strewn interiors of Mercedes and Porsche. The center touchscreen runs a clean, easy-to-navigate infotainment system that Lucid built in-house. The driver, meanwhile, gets a curved display panel that handles the core controls, navigation and multimedia. There are, happily, a few physical controls for the features you reach for most often, like volume and climate control. As you'd expect, Lucid is able to upgrade all this with over-the-air updates. Of the 90 ECU controllers in the car, 70 are upgradable, and Lucid already released 17 updates between November 2021 and July 2022. What it got right on day one, though, is how cohesive the rest of the interior feels. That comes down to some really pleasing choices in materials and design. Lucid's picked a fairly traditional palette of wood and leather and metal, but it's combined those with modern touches like engineered fabrics and textiles, and the result can really hold its own against the Germans, but without feeling old school in the process. What you can't see just by looking at it is quite how much Lucid has invested into in-house designs. Custom motors, custom power control, custom batteries, and custom software to make them all play nicely together. Very little of this is off the shelf. What you do see, though, is the payoff of those investments. Now, because Lucid's electric motors are significantly smaller than most of its rivals, it means they eat into the cargo space less, so you get a bigger front and a bigger trunk. And they and the power electronics are more effectively cooled, too, and that means you get to enjoy that sustained peak performance for even longer. Plus, it's a reflection of the reality that being green isn't just about having no tailpipe on your car, but everything involved in how it's built. That means designing lighter, smarter, and simpler so that you need fewer raw materials are shipping less and requiring less power for manufacturing.
In fact, we'll have to wait for the Air Pure for the price to dip under six figures. It'll start at just over $87,000, save money with a metal roof instead of glass, and use rear-wheel drive as standard. You'll still get about 406 miles of range, Lucid estimates, and 480 horsepower. Lucid's biggest problem is one that it shares with the rest of the auto industry. The supply chain crisis and other factors means that building cars is a problem in itself, especially when you're an upstart automaker with a long reservations and pre-order list, and just meeting that demand right now is an uphill struggle. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Slash Gear videos about vehicles are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.